Castaway absolutely shattered our hearts, ripped them out of our chest and stomped them on the floor, and it only required three chords to do so. Check it out. Oh man, I don't even know if I can watch this. <laughs> Oh no. The first part of the scene, we don't actually have any music and I think that's a brilliant choice. And we're gonna see in a minute how the introduction of this theme, oh man, it's just well perfectly placed in the absolute worst way you could possibly imagine. Well this shot, this shot, ready? Ready? There's the rope and... Come on. Wilson! Wilson! Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try to talk about this. We're just talking about the music, guys. It's okay. It's all right, we're not reliving this moment over and over again. So far, what we've heard is an oboe solo, and it's very, very simple. It's just very long held out, C, B flat, C. What an opening statement. That's all we need. That's all we need to set the tone here. So we have these two notes, just C, B flat, C. And then we have A flat, B flat, C. And then eventually we go up to E flat, D flat, A flat, and B flat. So we're kind of working in this A flat diatonic space, right? Those are the only notes. That's it. Those are the only notes we've used to create this incredibly beautiful oboe solo to open up this theme. Well done! Well done! Uh. Grab the rope. Uh. And now before we get to where it gets really bad. We now know what the decision is, okay? He's grabbed the rope, which means he's probably going to make sure that he stays alive and he's gonna let Wilson go. There's two things here that really bring this moment together and check it out. Wilson! Wilson! I'm sorry! Oh man, first of all, I mean, just the brilliant, brilliant acting from Tom Hanks here to make us all just absolutely gut-wrenched over a volleyball. When he says, I'm sorry, oh my God, come on. Are you serious? Like, you're gonna do that to us? But as that's happening, it wouldn't have, I mean, it might still have a really profound impact, but where we've now gone with the theme and introduced the second phrase, truly just hits this home and makes us go, oh my god, no. And that is the introduction of the strings. Wilson! Oof. And check out the simplicity. That's all we have, right? We're using our melody again from the oboe solo. We're repeating that, but now with the strings and a very open, simple harmonization of A flat major. That's it, that's all we're doing. That's chord number one, there's chord number two. All we've done is shifted our A flat chord to our E flat chord. So those are our first two chords of this sequence and then it just keeps going. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, Wilson! Wilson, I'm sorry! He says I'm sorry three times and we're still holding out this A flat chord with the strings. This theme doesn't need to move anywhere. It can just sit here, right? And again, like I said before, we're gonna talk about the harmony in just a second because I think it's really profound. But let's at first just see what we're doing. So we have A flat, E flat, A flat, and we're just letting it, letting it sit there. And he says, I'm sorry, three times before. I'm sorry! Yeah. Oh my god, man. What? Come on. We introduce our third chord. I said it took three chords. I don't know if it even needed three chords. We might have broken our hearts in the first two. Um, just with the A flat and the E flat. But that third chord really, really wraps it up and just tears it right out and stomps it on the ground. And it's the four chord, right? If we're, we're calling this 
A flat major, right? We have one chord, two chord, three chord, four chord. There's our four chord, it's D flat major, right? And again, we're keeping this very simple uh, harmonization of it. We kind of just do a an open voicing here. An open voicing just refers to a voicing that's more spread out rather than condensed right here in the middle, right? We just take the same exact notes, but spread them out on the piano. You can do this with absolutely any, any chord and it can generate some really cool results. And we're doing that here. We have A flat, E flat, A flat, as we said, but now we introduce that third chord and it's D flat major and we voice it like this. Oof, beautiful. Cause our melody goes like that. And so to play along, we have our lower strings that play our root, and we put our third on the bottom here. Now this is the exact same voicing as we used for E flat. We're just moving it down to D flat. That's all. And then we can go back to our A flat voicing. Very, very simple. Very simple harmonizations here. And then we have some incredible string motions in here. I'm sorry! We move from this voicing of A flat to that voicing of A flat, and then our melody keeps climbing up. I think we're bringing in this E flat voicing again. Yeah. Oh man. We've only used three chords. I mean, the amount of depth in this theme without using any complex harmony at all. But because we're using these beautiful open voicings with our strings, we don't need any more than that. I'm sorry! Mm. Well, no! Oh man, I just remember seeing this. Oh, as a kid and like seeing the, the Wilson get further and further away and you're just like, the angles that they use here really just like make you feel the hopelessness of this. I, I, I think like for me, the thing that, that, the thing that it really felt like is like, <laughs> thinking of a, like a dog, just like this helpless thing that's kind of just drifting further and further away from you. Sorry, I, uh, <laughs> Both my dogs were sick recently and it was a little bit sketchy there for a second, so it was a little close to home, but yeah. Anyways. I'm sorry! They're fine, by the way. They're they're totally fine, but it just, it was, it was a little scary. Yes! Wilson! Wilson! Hold it out. Just let it, let it sit there, right? Let these beautiful, simple chords with these simple voicings ring. Just let them ring. And then this scene, oh my God. Landing on that E flat. Oh. Still on E flat major. D flat major. E flat major. One note to end the whole thing. <sighs> okay, so let me tell you what I think is so interesting about this harmony. We are using major chords, and I think what, what partially is going on here, and it's an absolutely brilliant compositional decision, we have what feels like an ending, and we kind of don't know what's about to happen. We don't know, is, is he gonna save Wilson? Is he gonna save himself? Is this the end of the line for both of them? Or is he gonna lose Wilson? Not really any outcome is good. It's going to be a final goodbye of some kind, either for us, the audience, or for him with Wilson. This theme naturally has what I would consider to be a sentimental quality, right? And that's derived from the simplicity of the chords 
The instrumentation of the chords with the introduction of the oboe solo in the beginning and then spreading it out to very simple string harmony, right? I think those two things combine, the major harmony, the simple melody, and the very, very simple and quiet, not filled up, it doesn't sound triumphant. It's just extremely soft and extremely simple and voiced with such beautiful instruments. It gives it this feeling of finality in a sense. And that kind of makes this the perfect choice for this scene. After all, it is the main theme of the film, right? So we've heard this theme before. And so when it comes back in at this moment of despair, and uncertainty and eventual sorrow, it really is the perfect way to wrap up this chapter of the film, to wrap up his life with Wilson. It's incredible how harmony, even such simple harmony, can do that in the right context and with the right usage of notes to voice chords and instrumentation to elicit a certain timbre, a certain quality of sound. The fact that it's just simple, soft strings, I mean, Ugh, it just, it, it, it quite literally <laughs> rips your heart out of your chest. This is one of, I think, the most impactful themes that Alan Silvestri has ever written. And the irony of it being literally three chords, barely more than three chords, barely more than three notes, honestly. This, I think, is one of the greatest examples of all time of an incredibly simple melody and an incredibly simple theme that had such a massive impact on so many people across multiple generations. And if you enjoy the content on this channel and you'd like to support what I do here, then be sure to take advantage of the massive launch sale that I'm running on my brand new ebook, Jazz Piano Improv Volume 1. It's on sale for 50% off, but only until the end of this month, so that's one more week. You may notice we don't really do a lot of sponsorships for companies on this channel, and that's actually by design. I decided I would much prefer supporting what I do here on this channel by creating something that's directly from me that hopefully is directly relevant and useful for all of you. And that's what I've been doing for the last couple of years with all of the courses that I've built on the Cornell Music Academy. And your support has been absolutely incredible, but not everybody is interested in taking a video course and maybe it's not always easy to devote the resources to picking one up. So I wanted to create something that's even more accessible and hopefully just as useful. And that is why I wrote my very first ebook. It's a series of 50 choruses broken up across 10 different jazz chord progressions that are used in countless standards. There's five choruses on each tune and each of them has a theme so they get progressively more difficult. It'll put your improvisational skills to the test and it'll also give you an incredible bank that you can work from and decide what you like and take different things and add them into your own play. Not only will you get the ebook, you're also going to get 40 downloadable backing tracks with this package. And you might be thinking, well, wait a second, there's only 10 tunes, five choruses on each one. Where do you get 40 from? Ah, check it out. In addition to having a reference track where I actually play the full solo so that you can listen to it and learn it that way, I also included three different versions of a backing track for you to play along to. In one, I play some chords as accompaniment on the piano in case you just want to use the right hand to play the lines. But knowing that pianists might not want another pianist to get in their own way, or you might want to play your own left hand, there's also a version with just bass and drums. But if you're looking for a little bit of in-between, you want some of that harmony in there, but you also don't want another pianist getting in your way, there's actually a version with a little light electric piano, kind of like a road sound backing. So there's lots of options. There's different versions for every single backing track, all performed with a live band. So if you want to take advantage of that and get the whole package for 50% off as part of our launch sale, you only have until the end of this month. That's one week to get this package at the price that it's currently at, which is literally less than 20 bucks. And again, Again, that is how I've chosen to support this channel. So if you enjoy the content and you're looking for an opportunity to support the channel, that's the best way that you can do it. I'm so appreciative of your support and whether you choose to buy the package or not, I'm just glad you're here. Thank you so much for watching my videos. It means a ton. There's a link down in the description if you want to check out the ebook package. And that's it. That's going to be all for me today. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.